interesting topic in this book but the one that spoke volume to me was the power of positive thinking and after I read that I kind of had like a reality check on how I was thinking and the thoughts that I were entertaining and how did I respond to a positive situation a negative situation and it kind of helped me a lot in growing my mindset so yeah and in this book how it describes about this whole positive thinking using few research essentially there are two kinds of thoughts that we all think and if you can already guess yes it's positive and negative now think of your brain as a big factory for all the thoughts you have you have a foment for positive thoughts you have a foment for negative thoughts along with little thought workers Whenever you say something or think of something, your thoughts form and picks it up, then assigns little thought workers to make them happen. For instance, if you wake up in the morning and say to yourself, man, today is going to be an awesome day. I am so ready. It's going to be amazing. I'm so pumped. Your thoughts form and positive gets notifies of it and assigns little thought workers to then proceed to simulate and send on bosses to make you feel happy and positive. On the other hand, if you go, man, I hate today, I hate waking up early, can my day get any worse? Your thoughts form a negative gets notified of that, and then basically set yourself up for a negative blank. And as the saying goes, for as a man think it in his heart, so is he. So it's true, what we say and how we think actually affects our behavior and with that i think we should all surround ourselves with people who are uplifting people who value positivity and people who are there for you care for you to close up howard mentions a list of few things that we can do to replace our negative thoughts with positive ones and here are two of them. The first one is to write your emotions out and throw them away. Now you can do this by thinking of a bad memory or thinking of something that you want to forget, but you can. So what you can do is you write them out in a piece of paper and then crumple the paper and throw it in the trash can. Yep, just like that. And for the second one, he mentions that we can try writing letters of compassion. So what we do is we write compassionate letters to ourselves. Let's say, you know, we can write like, hey, it's okay. I know you're going through a lot. You're having a lot on your plate right now. Maybe you should take a break or 
You're doing great. Keep going on. It's just a little more. We're almost there. We're almost at the finishing line. You can do it. Or it's okay to fail. You know, it's okay. We can move on from this. There are so many things to learn out there, and so on. And then put it aside. When you feel low, when you feel down, take the letter again and read it to yourself, and you will have a new perspective. You'll have a new way of looking at yourself. So that's two of them. I think it's safe to say that we all should give it a shot. Plus, we've got nothing to lose. All right, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for sticking to the end with me. I appreciate each and every single one of you, and thank you so much for showing your support. I hope you had a few takeaways from this talk, and yeah, make sure you cop one for yourself and start reading and applying it to your life. So thank you very much. See you in the next review. Bye.